One of Digital is one of the best studios in the world. It was responsible for VFX work in the Lord of the Rings movies and the Planet of the Apes movies as well, just to name a couple. And it is a pioneer in some of the best VFX software and technologies. So Unity decided to acquire them, to use their talent and tech. But just a couple of years later, it is ending their agreement with them and firing 265 of their Weta engineers. So what does that mean for Weta? And is this related to the problems Unity keeps finding itself in? In December 2021, Unity acquired a part of Weta Digital, a prominent digital visual effects and animation company based in New Zealand. The deal was valued at over $1.6 billion. Wada Digital, co-founded by famous Lord of the Rings director Peter Jackson, is known for its groundbreaking visual effects as you might all know. And just to give you a glimpse of what Wada is actually capable of, they actually won 7 Academy Awards for Best Visual Effects, including those for the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which are The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. In addition to King Kong, Bridge to Terabithia, Avatar, The Jungle Book, and the most recent Avatar, The Way of the Water. But is this all what a digital is capable of? Actually far from it. Because they have developed several proprietary software and tools to achieve groundbreaking visual effects. One of the most notable is Massive, a program created for the large-scale battle scenes in the Lord of the Rings films. Massive could animate huge numbers of agents, which are independent characters acting according to a preset number of tools. For the film King Kong, they also developed CityBot, which is a software that could build the 1933 New York on a shot-by-shot -shot basis. In addition, they created a new simulation and modeling software for Kong's fur, incorporating interactive techniques and new shaders to add realism to the 5 million individual strands of fur. For Avatar, what a digital modified massive, and they did this to animate the flora and the fauna of Pandora, contributing significantly to the film's acclaim as a landmark in visual effects. Also, their advanced facial capture and manipulation, in addition to anatomical modeling, simulation and deformation of objects in movement, procedural hair and for modeling, and many other techniques have set a standard in the VFX industry. One of their texture painting applications developed for Avatar, named Mari, was actually acquired by the Foundry, which further proves that Wada Digital really, really influenced the field of CGI and VFX in particular. Now that you know what Weta is and what it is capable of, you might be asking yourself, why would Unity, which is more focused on game development, be interested in Weta? The answer is simple, they want their VFX technology, because Unity is expanding to the VFX industry, and this is taking place around the time when Epic and their game engine and real engine is also playing a big role in the VFX industry. From what you can see, however, Unity is a publicly traded company, which means they only care about investors and shareholders, which is a problem, especially for its users and what are Digital's employees in the first place. To make Unity look better for users, especially professionals like game studios and VFX studios, also VFX artists, which I think are more concerned about this topic of this video, Unity Technologies acquired Wada, hoping maybe to make Unity a major player in the VFX industry. This is the case because, I believe, they wanted to use their software and leverage Wada's expertise and technology. So, as a result, Unity gained access to Wada's advanced tools, technologies, and engineering talent. In fact, 275 engineers went to work for Unity in the new studio called Wada Facts, with the intention of making these resources available to a wider range of creators. This acquisition, I think, was kind of seen in the mind of their leadership, which is not succeeding in any kind of way. I think it is kind of seen as a move to enhance Unity's capabilities in the realm of VFX, particularly with the rise of the metaverse, where both Unity and Epic Games are making some progress. But we can't talk about this without going over the acquisition details. I mean, what did Unity get after the acquisition of Wada, and what software and technologies they got? 
when you're making a film, every piece has to work. The thing that you know about visual effects is if a shot fails, you lose your audience. The world-class team at Weta have created stunning visuals using state-of-the-art suite of artist tools, and they have won six Academy Awards. Each Weta tool has been created to make the best way to create content for each specific need. These tools surprise every time with their power, their flexibility. Unity's purchase included significant intellectual properties like Wana's path tracing renderer Manuka, in addition to the interactive renderer Gazebo, in addition to the simulation framework called Loki, and the grooming tool called Barbershop, which is now known as Wig. And these are some of the best in-house technologies Wana ever created. However, from what we have seen just last week, Unity plans to eliminate 265 jobs, which accounts for 3.8% of its global workforce. And this happened after ending the agreement with Weta. But the question is, why? Why leave all these amazing talented people and these technologies behind? The reduction in its workforce is a clear indication that Unity is undergoing significant changes I mean big changes. These layoffs can have various implications. From what I can see, the impact of such a decision is not just limited to the immediate loss of jobs. It also signals a possible change in the direction of the company's future, I mean future projects and priorities. And I think they feel like they have stretched themselves too thin because from just game development, became involved in VFX, XR, ArcViz, engineering and more. And these changes are actually evident if you are following what is going on with the company lately. When it comes to the reasons for termination, according to Unity, or what Unity is saying to the public, they describe the termination of the agreement as part of the broader quote-unquote company reset. This reset includes closing offices in 14 locations and reducing office footprint in remaining locations. This decision follows a turbulent period for Unity, which I'm sure you have heard of maybe. If you don't know, it was marked by the controversial new runtime fee for its game engine Unity Engine, a fall in the share price, and the sudden retirement of its CEO, John Racatello. For me personally, it wasn't surprising. But what I wasn't expecting this to say the least. What I facts expressed that the change was unexpected, but stated their intention to hire back as many of the laid off staff as possible. They also noted that while Unity retains ownership of the technology acquired in 2021, it remains fully available to what facts, which will continue to build and extend the intellectual property. It is mind-boggling for me how a company can acquire another company for 1.6 freaking billion dollars then fire everybody after just a couple of years. For me this means a few things. Either they are rushing things in VFX side of things and they are trying to compete with Unreal and the success it achieved with the Unreal technology and how it is used in the VFX productions like it was used in the Mandalorian and some VFX productions and it proved to be a great asset for the industry. From what I can see, Unity tried to use Wara as a shortcut to make Unity a software that is desired by VFX Productions, hence hiring 275 engineers, which is a lot of employees, I might add. And if you don't succeed when you have Wara, which has the brightest minds in the industry, I don't know what to tell you. I also think that their attempt to compete in the VFX industry and spreading themselves too thin backfired at them so bad. Combined with the mistakes they made under the leadership of their CEO, John Racatello, only signals to me that they did not know what they were doing. Especially when they say company reset, you know things are screwed, and there's nothing you can salvage, and they need to start over by screwing everything and everybody involved with them. And I hope the best for artists, developers, and engineers working with Unity, especially under the campaign of firing that started recently. Which makes me think, if the WANA team got fired, nobody is safe at this point. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. Please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.